Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back uh, to another Fallout 4 video where I'm going to show you the fastest way to get materials. Now, this involves uh, getting an infinite amount of worth. Okay, not infinite caps, but infinite worth. You can do this by uh, duplicating an item of high value that weighs nothing and is also stackable. So I'm going to use fusion cores for instance uh, because they're much like an ammo source, they weigh nothing, they're worth about 150 caps each and they're also stackable. To put it in perspective, uh, you know, a thousand fusion cores go for around 150,000 caps and 10,000 fusion cores go for about 1.5 million caps. However, 1.5 million caps is way overkill, so we're going to shoot for around 250,000 caps worth of fusion cores. Now, the fusion cores are very important, and I'll explain why after. First, I'll just give a brief demonstration on how to duplicate properly, and of course, a few hints and tips for people who may struggle with it. So, choose a nice wide open area and uh, you want to drop your, go ahead and just drop your fusion cores on the ground uh, and of course you're going to need dog meat for this glitch uh, so the easiest way to do this is to send dog meat away uh, and then you're just going to want to back up a little bit and you just want to position yourself right okay so just back up to you just get the get fusion core command select it and then you just want to take it just as dog meat puts his head down now you'll know if you've done this right because you'll drop one right in front of you and you'll still have the original fusion cores that you dropped in your inventory. So now you just want to go ahead and drop them straight back onto the ground uh, next to the other duplicated version and then now you just simply save and quit back to the title menu. Once back at the title menu you then just want to continue back into the game. Now once you get back in you'll find that you have uh, both the duplicates uh, and now this is another important part just gonna make sure you pick both of them up first uh, before you duplicate them okay now just because I've had problems with this in the past uh, duplicating them as soon as I get back into the game so anyway drop them back down and I'm just gonna quickly position these apart uh, just so I don't confuse duplicate versions now I'm just gonna speed this up a little bit uh, because you should know how to duplicate by now uh, and the, you know, the only difference is you're just duplicating two different ones uh, individually. So go ahead, do the left, do the right, and same thing again, where you're just gonna quick save, quit back to the main menu, and then once you get back in, uh, and this is another important part, uh, you will want to make sure that you pick all four up again uh, before you do anything. And now the difference is, is that when you go to drop these down, uh, they will drop as three instead of four. Now you will find that uh, one will be the original amount you were duplicated, 44. The other one will be double to 88 and the other one's 44, okay? Depending on how many you duplicated to begin with. Now you wanna pick up both the smaller ones and store them away in a container of your choice. The larger one that doubled, uh, that you left on the ground, will be the new one that you duplicate, okay? Now this, this is going to happen every time, okay? And uh, you know it's going to duplicate from you know like 88 to like 172 or rather, and it will, it will just keep duplicating and duplicating. Now uh, you're always going to have these ones as well as the ones that you store away all the time, and those ones that you store away are always going to duplicate as well. So this is how the duplication works, and you will only need to do this probably four, or maybe five times max, okay? Now. After repeating these steps uh, four times over, I uh, ended up with around 240,000 caps. And you know, this only took me like 20 minutes, so you know, that, that's pretty quick. Now, I'm going to show you the next part, and um, for the purpose of the tutorial, I'll just show you uh, with concrete um, and what we need to do. Now, we're going to travel to all three locations where you will be able to find uh, three different shipments of concrete. So, this will start at Abernathy Farm. I'll locate it just here on the map. Uh, now, you just find it south of the sanctuary um, where you first begin the game and we'll just fast travel there. We'll go see Connie and this is where the fusion cores come in handy. So, once you navigate to her junk section of her inventory, uh, you just want to purchase all shipments. Okay, now I'm just going to purchase the one for now. 
And then now what you want to do is trade your fusion cores uh, as currency. So you just want to sell enough to uh, cover the amount of shipments that you bought and the uh, caps, the amount of caps in her inventory. It's always better to overestimate as you know the fusion cores didn't really cost you anything to begin with. Uh, so go ahead and accept the trade and then travel to the next location which is Grey Garden. You're then going to travel to uh, Finch Farm. And now if you haven't found these locations, um, you know, I have guides on my channel that uh, basically will show you where to get any shipment for any material in the game. Okay, now I'll leave links in the uh, description below. And just remember guys to make sure you purchase all shipments, don't just purchase the one uh, because this is what makes it kind of a quicker method. So what's happening is that, you know, you're looking for one type of material but you're picking up you know five or six different other materials at the same time and you know at the same time it's costing you absolutely nothing so once you're happy with the amount of uh, shipments that you have uh, you then just want to go ahead and travel to a uh, workshop uh, where you will then trade the shipments in as material and once they become material they will also drop as one stackable item so now all that's left to do is duplicate the uh, materials that you use the most of, like, you know, wood, concrete, uh, you know, steel, etc. And, you know, at this point you should have uh, enough materials that, as it is. You should only have to duplicate, you know, once or twice, uh, hopefully, just depending on how you did it. So, you know, I hope that helps someone out. Um, you know, like, if you're like me and I have, like, two massive mega structures in two different settlements i have four or five settlements decked out you know materials can be hard to find and hard to get um so i really hope this helps someone out and if it did just please hit that like button for me uh all subscribes are appreciated uh thanks for watching and i'll see you guys next time